guys, this video is going to be a book review of The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness, best known for his YA books such as More Than This, A Monster Calls, and the Chaos Walking trilogy, which are really, really interesting. I did a review of More Than This, so you can see that here. Not everyone can be the chosen one. In fact, statistically, almost no one is. Mikey certainly isn't. He just wants to hang out with his friends, get together with Henna, the girl of his dreams, and graduate high school without the latest batch of chosen ones blowing up the high school. However, while Mikey and his friends and family aren't the special ones, their stories certainly aren't not special. Mikey gets into compulsive loops, his best friend Jared is the descendant of the goddess of cats and has powers to match, Mikey's sister Mel is starting a relationship with a doctor and is also still recovering from her eating disorder caused by the stress of their mother's political campaigns, and Mikey's crush Henna is trying to get over the loss of her brother to the vampires that plagued the town a couple years ago. Together, these friends are just trying to make it through the last bit of high school and get to graduation and, hopefully, college. Of course, the newest chosen one thing with the blue lights and the death doesn't seem to have the same goal in mind. I really enjoyed this book. It was quite interesting with some very, very interesting themes such as mental illness, need, stress, and chosen ones, of course. I found the characterization of Mikey really a little bit too real, as his struggle with his compulsive loops is not something that I have to deal with, but his anxieties over being the least needed or wanted person in the room all the time. He, he always feels like he's the least wanted or least needed person in the room at any given time, and that is something that I've struggled with myself. I have had trouble with that myself quite a bit, so that's that's kind of scary for me. But it kind of also helped, so that's hard to explain. I really found that Jared was actually kind of the most interesting character in the book, being as he was struggling to struggle his whole god stuff with his father's political campaigns running against Mikey's mother, and his friendship with Mikey, and the, the, just the whole thing, and his helping Nathan with his sexuality, which I'm going to come to a bit later. Jared was just really a great character. Another character that I found interesting, if rather underutilised, was Mikey and Mel's mother. She's a politician who seems to value her own goals above her children, which does leave quite a lot of strain on their relationships. However, there were also some really interesting bits to do with her motivation that she talked about with Mikey a bit, as it wasn't solely her own ambition that she was doing it for, but I felt that she didn't disclose very much and Patrick Ness should have gone into it a bit more. It would have been really interesting. However, I did feel that the book was rather heteronormative, as the whole conflict between Mikey and Nathan was centred around Mikey thinking that Nathan was trying to get with Henna, when it turned out that Mikey was just being very heteronormative and thinking that Nathan was straight to the exclusion of all else, when in fact Nathan was covertly dating Jared, sort of, and, you know, going out with him. So that was kind of awkward, and it just, it just rubbed me up the wrong way a little bit. To finish on a positive note, I really liked the whole bit at the start of each chapter where they talked about what the indie kids were doing in that chapter. It was just really, really interesting, because while it didn't have much of a bearing on the plot most of the time, it was really interesting to see what Satchel and the Finns were doing, and that actually sounds like a kind of funny band name if you, you know, now that I hear it out loud. Overall, I would say that I enjoyed this book. It had some interesting themes and characters, but I wouldn't say that it was amazing, just pretty decent, to be honest. So, yeah. Tell me in the comments below what you think about Chosen Ones. I would love to know what you think, so tell me below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me, including my review of The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which is awesome. Ah. And my update on my 2016 commitments for March. Bye.